Coming up on this edition of Able to Cook, the second part of Chinese dynasties and the type of food of China. All that and much more when Able to Cook, the only program that focuses on the needs, concerns, and achievements of people in the kitchen despite their disabilities. I'm Lauren Seiler. Tune in for this exciting episode. Welcome to this edition of Able to Cook, the one and only program that focuses on the needs, concerns, and achievements of the differently abled uh, of cooking and not being afraid of the kitchen. I'm Lauren Seiler. On this um, edition of Able to Cook, we focus on the types of food in China and the Chinese dynasties. Um, so let's go in. We've heard about uh, an Americanized dish called chow mein, or uh, um, let's see if we can, uh, it, it's chow mein. So uh, let's, um, I'll show you what a picture looks like of chow mein there. Uh, it's noodles and vegetables and that kind of thing, if you can see the picture. Oh. Let's get into, uh, I think I went too far. Uh, let's go into chow mein. Um, so the definition of chow mein is um, a Chinese style dish of fried noodles and shredded meat or seafood and vegetables. So there are different uh, types of chow mein there. Um, what is chow mein versus noodles? So noodles are basically a type of food that is made from dough, while chow mein is a dish with noodles. Actually, chow mein is coined from two words, chow, which means fried, and mein, or men. Uh, M-E-I-N uh, refers to noodles. So the moral of the story is that all, that all chow mein is noodles, but all noodles are not chow mein. I will repeat it. The story of chow mein are noodles, but, not, but all noodles are not chow mein. Uh, the, so the difference, let's go um, into this article here from the Times uh, Food of India. What is the difference between noodles and um, the difference between noodles and chow mein? So as you can see, there's a picture here um, of what Noodles are basically a type of food that's made from dough, while chow mein is a dish made with noodles. The actual chow mein is coined from two words, chow and uh, fried, which means mein refers to noodles, so, okay? Uh, boiled versus fried. Um, these are pictures here. Noodles are made from flour, paste, then boiled and soft, uh, allowed to cool down, which Further is used <clears throat> to prepare a dish, whereas um, chow mein is what we get from boiled noodles and tossed and stir fried into a wok with um, very with very sauce uh, with very sauces and chopped green veggies. Uh, uh, this is what chow mein looks like. There are various ways in which chow mein can be prepared that includes American, uh, American uh, Chinese or Indian Chinese or Caribbean style. Noodles uh, or dishes can be cooked uh, plain and served with a dipping sauce. Uh, these are also used as a major ingredient uh, of soups and salads. Um, so, what is the difference between? Uh, okay, so that's what chow mein is. Let me um, 
go into the types of chow mein. Okay, the, in the American market, uh, two types of chow mein include crispy chow mein and steamed chow mein. The steamed chow mein has a softer texture, which is, uh, for, while the former is crispier and drier. Um, crispy chow mein uses fried flat noodles, while soft chow mein uses uh, rounded noodles. So let me get into, I think it's the same. Uh, no, it's not. So uh, chow mein uh, was introduced um, from China from into the United States by Chinese immigrants that came from the Guangdong provinces. G-U-A, G-U-A, and so it's G-U-A-N-G, D O N G provinces in the California um, 1849 gold rush era, bringing them their Cantonese style of cooking. The American Chinese cuisine um, is basically uh, basically consisting of dish of noodles, meat, chicken. Um, most common, but pork, beef, or shrimp, and tofu are uh, sometimes being substituted. Onions and celery are often served in a specific dish, westernized uh, Chinese restaurants. The vegetarian or vegan chow mein is also common. Uh, in the American market, two types of chow mein include crispy chow mein and steamed chow mein, um, um, and it's basically, there are also variations, uh, either one or two types of chow mein can be prepared um, as a dish. Uh, when ordering chow mein, some restaurants in Chicago, for example, uh, a diner might receive, uh, might receive chop suey poured over crunchy fried noodles. In Philadelphia, Americanized chow mein tends to be similar. Chop suey ha has fried noodles as well on the side and includes much celery, bean sprouts, and is sometimes accompanied with fried rice. Um, Jeremy Eggers of the Star Tri Tribune uh, uh, in Minnesota describes chow mein as a green slurry of celery, ground pork, and topped with ribbons of gray processed chicken, um, which is uh, kind of looks horrible or, or tastes horrible. In 1946, the first company to market chow mein was the Chun King, C H U N King, and products creators James uh, Polisi of <clears throat> who was the son of Italian immigrants, developed the recipe uh, mostly by uh, Italians and better catered and uh, preferences of the European immigrants. Um, so um, in 1960, Polisi described to the New York Times at Chongqing, um, they've turned a stew type of chow mein and guess the type had been around for 30 or 40 years. To make it, all the meat seasonings and vegetables were dumped into a kettle, stewed for hours uh, until uh, everything was cooked. Um, outside of the Asian community, many Australians appeared to be confused that chow mein was chop suey. The most common Australian version contains minced beef called ground beef. Um, and uh, in North America, curry powder uh, was sometimes served over rice instead of fried noodles. This version 
had been promoted by the Australian uh, Institute of Sport on ABC Radio, a uh, popular Australian women's magazine of the mid-1960s during the 21st century. Um, and let me, let me just uh, bring you uh, one or two pictures of what Chalmaine looks like. You can bring several pictures there. Okay. So, and then uh, this is what Chalmaine looks like. Now, one last paragraph. In uh, Maritus uh, cuisine, Maritus Chalmaine, known as my. <clears throat> Fryer or mind fright, mind freak, uh, is a combination of Cantonese and the Hakka word chow mein, which means noodles, uh, as French word being fried, and introduced the the marketer's uh, chow mein in uh, Chinese immigrants that came from the southeast part of China, known as the Cantonese regions of the 19th century. Uh, the original recipe of the classical um, Sino Maturin dish uh, and was eaten by Maturins uh, regardless of ethnicity. Uh, uh, reflecting the influence of Chinese and um, Sino Maturin community despite being one of the smallest communities on the island, and uh, very common street food, and can be found by most restaurants on the island. Um, so uh, this puts an end to uh, this edition of Able to Cook, the one and only program that focuses on the needs, concerns, and achievements of cooking and not being afraid of the kitchen despite your disability. If you want more information on Able to Cook and its mission, you can go to www.orcamedia.net. That's www.orcamedia.net. Happy cooking. This has been uh, the second part of Chinese cuisine. More to come on this exciting cuisine on Able to Cook. I'm Lauren Seiler. Eat good, stay safe, see you next time on the next edition of Able to Cook. <laughs>